Well, I thought the fall went very well uh, for, for Mercer Lacrosse. It was great to bring in all the, the young guys, 24 freshmen combined with 24 returning players. So you, you, you want to make sure that those guys spend a lot of time together. And we, we did have quality time off the field and on the field to work towards that chemistry that's going to be so important in the spring. Um, you know, I, I'm probably most proud of the way the guys worked and how they bought into the program. Uh, that, that every time we were together in the weight room, uh, in our conditioning sessions, on the field playing lacrosse, it, it was a, a full out effort. So that off, uh, obviously is going to pay dividends as, as we go further uh, into the season. Um, you know, as, as far as who played well, I, I don't like to point out individuals at this point in the season. However, you know, it, the different sides of the ball uh, had, had improvement. Uh, both offensively and defensively. Our defense certainly looked a step quicker than, than it did last year, so that's exciting. And, and offensively, we, we've increased our skill set to the point where we can play a lot faster than, than we did when we finished up uh, last spring. So those two things combined with the effort that the guys are giving, uh, it, it's, a, it, it's painting a pretty good picture at, at this point. Um, we. Uh, you know, a, a big part of the fall is to, to tap on all, all areas of our game, and I do feel like the pieces are fitting together pretty well as far as putting that, that final product on the field uh, in, in February. So as long as we keep working hard and, and the guys continue to buy in and we get good leadership, uh, I feel like we're going to be in a good, good place. Okay, the, the other thing that, that is... It, impressive to the, the entire coaching staff is something that we talk about is, is building a culture for success. And, and I think the guys really understand that. There's one thing to talk about it, but, but then a, a true understanding, that's a whole other step. And I think we're finally to the point where everybody understands what it takes to, to every day build towards a, our, our culture of success. One of the biggest differences that I've noticed uh, from last year to this year is the work that, that Sheldon Stevens is doing in, in our strength and conditioning program. The guys are working extremely hard. Um, they're, they're participating in very dynamic workouts and, and he is also structuring all of the workouts for sports specific type activity. So the strength and conditioning of our players is at a different level. This team is extremely close and, and tight, and they've all come together for one common goal, and that is to become a very competitive Division I lacrosse program.